Dr. Shapiro, during your conversation regarding forgiveness, while mentioning Paul, you try to undermine his authenticity, although Peter, a pillar in the first church, mentioned him by name in his epistles, confirming that these words by Paul are authenticated and they are inspired. Another quick one, comment regarding the prodigal son. You mentioned that forgiveness I mean, can be easily just by coming and repenting. Well, you didn't mention that the prodigal son is a son, and once you are part of the holy family, once you accepted Jesus, you don't need Jesus to die every time you sin. It's already one time and forever accepted. So basically, Excuse me, you, can you please it's ask a, a question? It's a quick one. It's, I, I finished. So basically, I mean, you repent, but if you are a son, your repentance is, is there. If you are not a son, your repentance is not enough. Now, my question is, two parts. One part is regarding the uh, words which were given to Adam and Eve and, uh, in the Quran. And it said that they received, Adam and Eve received the words and they repented. So if they, if they repented really, if God accepted their repentance, why they were kicked out of paradise? This is one question. I'll give the other Can one. we just limit it to one question? It's a quick one also. <laughs> just one question. We have to give others opportunity as well. Quick one, trust me. Okay, I'll give okay, it then now. Um, uh, let, yes. let, me, let me start with what you said, because you made several points. First, about uh, Second Peter, uh, it, it was recognized in the church from about the third century onwards, when for, uh, Second Peter was being presented as, as uh, possible, uh, for possible inclusion, inclusion within the Christian canon, that uh, this is a pseudonymous work. Somebody else wrote it using Peter's name. And, and this is widely accepted by modern scholars. I'm surprised actually that Sabidi did not accept this, this scholarship on the question because it's not only modern, it's ancient as well. Uh, so we, we wouldn't say that Peter in this letter validated Paul because this is not Peter writing. Somebody else using Peter's name wrote that. Uh, the second thing is about the prodigal son and, and becoming a child first. Well, the, the story about the prodigal son is not that you have to be a child. The story is really about forgiveness that comes from God when a sinner turns back to him. Because that was the conclusion that Jesus spoke about. He said that when one sinner uh, repents, there is more rejoicing in heaven than when uh, there are a hundred righteous persons who do not need repentance. So that was the conclusion written in Luke chapter 15. Uh, and, and that shows a different soteriology than the Pauline a line of thinking where somebody has to die for your sins for you to be uh, forgiven. Uh, now, in, in the Quranic story, when it says that uh, they were driven out from the garden, uh, Imam al-Qurtubi in his tafsir and Imam al-Razi in his tafsir as well, uh, say that uh, it is very clear that, that their being driven out from the garden is not a, a penalty for their sin. And uh, the, the reason for the saying that is that uh, even after God said, Fataba alai, God has forgiven him, still it says, Ihbitu uh, minha jamia, go out from here, all of you together. So now your question is why, if not the punishment for sin? It would seem to me that uh, this was the, uh, in, uh, not only to me, but the, the, the commentators on the Quran say that when God said, I'm going to place on earth a Khalifa, uh, that was the original intention. In which case, they are being put on the rest of the earth, not as a pen penalty for their sin, but in fulfillment of that original goal. Now, if that was the original goal for human beings to dwell on earth as the vicegerent of God, why were they put in the garden in the first place? Well, they were put in the garden to learn the original lesson, so that when they go out from the cradle of human civilization, uh, they will go out with that lesson, and then they will spread and multiply and, and fill the earth with that original lesson in mind, which they learned in the cradle of civilization. So sir, first they were placed in the cradle, they're taught a lesson, and then they're put where God in initially intended to put them, not as a consequence of their sin, but after having taught them an important lesson for life on earth. Do you have a brief yeah, clarifying yeah, question? Brief one, brief. Uh, if, if you can't make statements, make just state the question. Very quickly. I mean, if, if if it is as you are saying that repentance doesn't need blood, then why God made all this complex system, the whole testament, Old Testament, for the people? He said he could say simply, repent, but he made a complex system of this. That leads me to the question. In the Quran, the Safat, he said, azim. He was ransomed for the great sacrifice. What does make this sacrifice a great one? It's a goat. Why it's so great that he called it a Thank great you. question.
Yes, so uh, the, the sacrificial system in the Old Testament, we know that God says, do this, uh, sacrifice this, uh, you said even pigeons, right? And then, but, but the important thing there is God said you will be forgiven. That means people were forgiven according to God's express declaration. But if this means that only through blood sacrifice and through a, such a complex system, uh, should we accept that this is the case? Jeremiah, uh, in, in, in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament, in chapter 8, verse number 8, rails against this. He says, how can you say we are wise and we have the law of, uh, of Yahweh, whereas the lying pens of the scribes have falsified it? George Adam Smith, in his commentary on Jeremiah, actually he's collected lectures uh, which are now in a book, uh, says that uh, what Jeremiah was railing against here is the whole sacrificial system. If you read Jeremiah chapter 7, and Jeremiah is going to the other extreme. Uh, well, are you saying George Adam Smith didn't say this? Okay, so you're disagreeing with George Adam Smith, but please let me cite him as a scholar. Uh, this is what he says, that Jeremiah is railing against the sacrificial system. Of course, some uh, items of sacrifice survive in the Islamic tradition as well, so I wouldn't even agree with Jeremiah to that extreme. But he did take an extreme view in cancelling all of the sacrificial system or, or declaring that to be not from God, which Jeremiah is saying the lying pens of the scribes have put into the scriptures. Uh, why does it survive in Islam? Well, in Islam, we understand the sacrifice to have some benefits. Uh, you, you mentioned that uh, uh, Abraham was to sacrifice his son, but instead of the son, God gave him uh, an animal to sacrifice instead. What is the lesson in that for us? First, we save our children. We don't sacrifice our children. Second, God gives us the animals through which, by sacrificing them, we can express our thanks to God. Usually, we would have the animal that we either bought with our own money or reared ourselves, and we cherish that, but now we offer this as a prize to God. Uh, God provided us for it for us, and then God commands us in the Quran, فَكُلُوا minha, then eat from it. So we ourselves will eat from it, and we'll do some charitable work, we'll give it to the poor and, and the needy. So there are benefits in the land from this minimal sacrificial system that survives in the Islamic tradition. So, yes, I agree with you, that complex system in the Old Testament seems to be excessive, and it, to that extent I would agree with Jeremiah, it seems that somebody has put something in the scriptures there. Uh, but to the extent that it survives in Islam, it seems to me that it, it, is, it survives with great benefit. It, it is not something that is overdone. And in the end, God assures us, It is not the flesh and the blood of the sacrificial victim that reaches God. It is the devotion from you that he is looking for. Sorry, I can't allow that question. Sorry, for the sake of time, we have to move on. Thank you for your question.